Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages come through. In this reading, um, I see here that there's Divine Masculine who is really thinking about leaving a situation and moving towards Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine is feeling something like, it sounds it sounds good when I think about it. It, it sounds like it's going to work out, but um, is it really going to work? So this Divine Masculine is really thinking about it. He feels like the idea of moving towards Divine Feminine and the thought of moving towards Divine Feminine sounds good, feels good, but uh, there is a little bit of a doubt there. And I feel it's because Divine Masculine is making um, a sudden change because I see something about Divine Masculine wanting to make a decision very quickly concerning about love so something that is just like i feel like all of a sudden a sudden change of plans a sudden um change in the way divine masculine sees their life and the way they view um what love to be so this divine masculine this reading i see here that their decision to move towards divine feminine does require work they know that it starts with them, meaning that they need to put in the effort, they need to put in the work, um, they need to take the steps that is needed in order to move this along, to move it forward, to get things going. Um, this Divine Masculine is being guided by the Divine. Um, some of these, I feel like intuitive knowing, these messages has come through through dreams. I see something about Divine Masculine receiving download information, um, dreams about reconnecting with Divine Feminine to start anew. Um, some, something having to do with take the relationship, the connection to the next level. Some of these Divine Masculines had a dream of proposing to Divine Feminine. Some of them dreamed about getting married to Divine Feminine. So... The divine in this reading is shows that the divine really push uh, divine masculine to see uh, what is to come, what is the next steps to to help divine masculine lead into the, I feel like into the direction he is meant to be going towards. So something about divine masculine not having the full strength within them yet to take on that role that um take it's like having the strength to actually do it so the divine is kind of like guiding divine masculine to encourage to give strength to divine masculine that yes though it feels a little bit i feel the divine masculine has nerves like nervousness so it's like um though you feel nervous though this may not feel like something that you would normally do but we are guiding you on this path. So it's like the divine is trying to show divine masculine that even though you feel kind of like, I'm not sure what what's going to be the outcome or what's going to happen next. It's like trusting in the divine, having faith. That's what, what faith is, right? So divine masculine has a little bit of a habit of looking at the past and how things didn't work out before. And is trying to understand uh, what they currently feel, but they're connecting the past. I feel like the things that didn't work in the past to the present. Um, 
it shows here that by doing that, it kind of pulls the divine masculine back a bit. Um, that's where the hesitation comes in because past mistakes, past outcomes um, can interfere in the energy of the present. So divine masculine, it shows the key to moving into the direction that is meant for divine masculine at this time does involve working on emotions that are connected to the to the outcomes or to the situations of the past. It's like seeing it but not having any kind of energetic attachment to what is in the past. So recognizing it, right? It's okay to have those memories to remember certain things, but not having any kind of energetic attachment to those things. So it's it shows here to work on that. Divine Masculine needs to work on that to help release self from the past so that he can focus on the present so that he is guided towards his future. Pride also comes in the way here in this reading. It's like every time this divine masculine works on self to it's like taking two steps forward. The pride makes him take three steps back. So in some cases, this pride actually worked in Divine Masculine's favor recently when it came to relationships, when it came to his situation. It shows here a karmic situation. His pride helped him move forward um, from whatever situation that was. Um, I see here a sudden change in events that took place where the Divine Masculine felt things were unfair. Divine Masculine, having that pride worked in their favor at that time so that they can pull away from the karmic situation that they were in. This masculine, to restore the connection between them and Divine Feminine, is, it shows something about Divine Feminine's energy is quite strong, um, higher vibration, um, Divine Feminine is very focused here. Divine Masculine is working towards that. It's like working to get there, to be in balance with Divine Feminine. Um, they know that in order to restore the connection, they need to be where Divine Feminine's at. And some of the things that are holding this Divine Masculine kind of like back is the hesitation, any kind of energy attached to the past, as I mentioned before. And something that is deeply rooted within Divine Masculine that they didn't really pay much attention to. So focusing on self, um, this Divine Masculine is, it shows something about praying, connecting to the Divine, um, wanting that clarity, um, seeking for guidance. So they're kind of like open. It's like, I'm open to hearing what you have to say. I'm open to receiving. I'm open to knowing um, things that I should know. And this Divine Masculine, it doesn't matter how strange it might be or how strange um, things might seem. This Divine Masculine is open to receiving it. It's like, even if certain ideas were to come to Divine Masculine, um, at one time he would be like, ah, I would never do that. Right? It could be even something very small, like um, saying, saying I'm sorry, for example, right? Saying I'm so sorry for a specific reason or to a specific person. Um, again, it comes back to the pride thing. Uh, in the past, Divine Masculine would not see themselves as doing a certain action or, or doing something and that was outside of their norm. But this Divine Masculine is being guided to see that Sometimes there are some things that you need to go outside of self that may seem, I feel like, a little bit challenging. But at the same time, um, it is something that will help inspire Divine Masculine to see more about themselves. So by taking a step, for example, if this Divine Masculine were to say sorry now to, to a specific someone, I'm giving that as an example. That um, it's like that pride that was there would be, 
I feel like it would not take power、um, because divine masculine has surrendered, like surrendered to、um, something that is outside of self, outside of the norm for divine masculine. So by saying sorry, it gives divine masculine some sense of freedom that hmm, this is not as as bad or as、um, challenging as I thought it was. So. Switching to that, letting go of things that、um, that the divine masculines used to, it feels like some sort of kind of、um, like a pattern or a habit that divine masculine is so used to being being in that now releasing that, being open to what the divine has to share, even though it doesn't sound as something that the divine masculine would do or say. Divine masculine's open to it. It's like I'm open to receiving it or hearing hearing it out. I'm I'm hope I'm open to hearing what you have to say or what others have to say. So there is that transformation、um, that is helping the divine masculine. It's like not only move forward, but it's like a way of living. It becomes a lifestyle for this divine masculine. Divine feminine, in this reading, you are very strong. You still have、um, faith that there is love out there for you. I see here that you focus so hard on yourself, a lot of self love, a lot of hard work, and there was a time where you had put the idea of love aside to focus on you. So the idea of A partner or、um, being in a relationship, you put that idea aside to focus fully on you. You filled yourself up with so much love that you became so strong. But yet, you do have that 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 sensitivity, that love within you. That you have faith. There is something else that is that is there. That it's outside of yourself. You you understand that it does exist.、Um, sometimes you may think about how how you used to view love, and I see there's there's a few things here. How how you used to view love and how、um, it did hurt. How things、um, didn't feel right or. Uh, didn't work out the way you had hoped it would work out, but you came out. Even though it's like you came out of that that feeling, even though it was difficult, but you knew that in order to come out of that, I feel like stuck energy. You had to really stand up for yourself. It's like self respect, self love,、um, coming into your strength. There was a lot of purging. There was a lot of clearing out. You remove things that you felt was holding you back in any way. Some things that you didn't recognize before. When you were connected with divine masculine, but afterwards you felt like certain things about you needed to change in order to become more stronger,、um, because you became more wiser. You were no longer blinded to what someone had to say as truth. It's like now you analyze things. Now you have recognized certain things, patterns, behaviors, and intuitively you are very tuned in. I see here that emotions used to really, really flow,、um, meaning like sadness, tears used to really flow. But now, when they do、um, do come in, it's to it's with clarity. It's like you you are consciously aware of why your tears shed. But before, it's like autom- automatic. I feel like、uh, emotions they just changed. You you didn't really、um, try to see why you felt those feelings. You just felt it, right? You were just being you. You were just. Natural. You were just feeling the emotions, but now, 
when you feel a certain way, you question it. You try to seek um, seek for answers or you try to go within and question, why do I feel this way? Why now? There is that conscious awareness about who you are and what you feel because you've spiritually evolved. I see here when you were growing, Divine Masculine, it took time for this Divine Masculine to understand their feelings. They were also going through um, a lot of different emotions. But because they took time to, um, to evolve, to be more alert or aware of their feelings, they remained in a very, it shows here a very um, kind of like an Im immature energy where they, they just let their emotions go, but they didn't really have a balance, a clear flow of what they were feeling. And they didn't even try to um, find out or try to question self that why am I feeling this way? They just let it all, let it all go. But now, um, going back to the beginning of the reading where I mentioned that the Divine Masculine, they realized that it will require a lot of work on their part to help move this along because this Divine Masculine has made a decision to reconnect with Divine Feminine. They are being guided and shown that this is the next, next step for them to take. So this Divine Masculine is just trying to think about what what to do next some of them are thinking about traveling some of them are thinking about um, pursuing some kind of goal that can help them not only um, help them in their own um, lifestyle I feel like financially um, some sort of stability in their career finances but they also want to work hard so that when they when they come to your doorstep here, Divine Feminine, to your Divine Feminine home. They want to be ready. They want to be able to provide and give as well. I feel like they want to be an equal giver. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.